She was clearing a house for some people. They were having like a, a female ghost that was really messing with a husband and, you know, causing a lot of mischief. And she was becoming visible and physical. And, um, it, but only when the husband was in the bedroom. So he started sleeping in the living room. And um, so, Patricia was calling me just to bounce some stuff on my head as to uh, what was going on because she was doing the clearing, but she felt like she was like, I, I was like, well, what is going on in their lives that they would invite this woman to be so active? And, you know, and that was my question. Like, it's one thing when you move into a haunted house that was haunted before you got there. It's another thing when an entity appears in your life because they feel very comfortable being around. And it did turn out that the man, just by his persona, was developing a symbiotic rapport with this woman. And that was like keeping her there. Why would she leave? She was being fed by him. And he had... You know, it was, it was an unhealthy connection, but it was one that from his upbringing was comfortable for him, pattern. So I'm like, okay, I am never doing space clearing again. <laughs> That's too much psychology. But when I spoke with you the other day, you said you often help the entities or spirits to find their way to a it, it sounds almost like you give them therapy, find their way to, where would you like to be? You know, what do you need to release so you can go where you need to go? Tell us like, what are some of the ways, because you're very respectful to the beings that you clear out. Um, I actually give them a healing. Um, just as I'm giving the home a healing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and I look at it just an extension of my healing work. Um, and it's only because I'm so sensitive to things in the space. Even, even, if, even if there's entities like 100 miles out, I could feel it. I can feel sometimes stuff coming in from different outside our galaxy, some frequencies. Um, that's how sensitive my field is. And that's, that's why um, I, you know, I take such an interest in it because when something gets into the space, um, it affects me and um, it can be very painful when you're very sensitive and you're in the space. So I learn to master as much as I can. I'm always learning something new about how to do it better, better, or, uh, and, you know, set up protection and things like that. I, I haven't found um, a protective shield that works, you know, for a long period of time. Energies learn a workaround uh, that in, in, in my experience. Um, and it'll work for a while. I like I now I have symbols that I use that reactivate it, but every you know, every morning I have to reactivate them. Oh. Um, you know, so they're in force. Okay. Um, right. but in terms of the your initial question, um, you know, when I run into a ghost, I ask them if they want a healing. I'll you generally use angelic resonant energy so I have them connect to the issues with their intent why they're earthbound and then I clear the imbalance you know I just hold the the energy over them and it clears and then I bring them up to a dimension where there's no duality okay and it's and it's like God consciousness or theta consciousness and I've had them put out all the souls connected to those issues that we just cleared and I, I clear the karma so I send out the energy once twice three times and then I'm the surrogate for those souls, and I give them a, their higher self a chance to get rid of the karma with, with in this case, the ghost. Okay, uh, uh, in, you know, and I have a cobalt five-pointed blue star. That's what I set people on it etherically. So, and that's that's divine vibration. So I'm setting the person etherically here, and everyone else is out in front, and I'm sending what I call the combined energy, which is a night angelic energy with a lot of enlightened energy in it. And I send it out and it clears the karma across all lifetimes, not just this one. Wow. So, so, so generally like when it. karma gets kicked up in our life, you know, it's your mate or your boss or something, right? 
So it's not just the boss. You, the boss is out there, but then it's anyone. So, so if you're dealing with control, you have like two million souls out there from all lifetimes, generally, and you and you're clearing it in, in a matter of seconds. Uh, it's quite um, magnificent um, to be able to to facilitate in that way. Um, so, um, and that's what I do. And then I have my gut, my Buddhist guides move them on to wherever they need to go. So if they need to be with, with Jesus and Mary, they go there. If they need to be in the happy hunting ground, that's where they go. If they need to be with relatives, I mean, I don't decide where they go. I just let right. them go. Okay. And that's how I do it. And it's it's done, you know, like in like 30 seconds type of a thing. So, that's so cool. Now, now the, the person you were talking about when I tune into that, it's that um, the woman, this was, this was a, you know, a spirit from a past life. Mm. and was jealous or whatever and and follow her into you know with her this lifetime and um, that's what i get when i tune into that um yeah so you so that i would offer that you know that soul a chance to um break that connection break that uh because it's painful you know it's painful both all uh -huh. well, three parties involved there so yeah, yeah so yeah. <laughs> 